If there's one thing I know, it's that our path in life is uncertain. I'm proof of that. My dad was abusive, violent, and an alcoholic. So one night my dad came home very late, drunk as usual, and he started spitting at my mama. The next morning my dad was gone, but my mom was left agonizing in pain. And she calls me and tells me, Johnson, I want you to run and find your daddy because I feel like I'm going to die. Those are the words I haven't forgotten for the last 17 years. So I ran so fast, found my dad. And when we got back, she was dead. At that time I was eight years old, but had never gone to school. My father had not let go of the alcoholism. So my grandma brought me to Nairobi. So soon after I arrived, my grandma was able to enroll me at a school called MCDC. Being in school also meant getting help from the Convoy of Hope, who supplied food and other things I needed but couldn't afford. The first shoes I wore was given to me by Convoy. That's the first shoe I wore in my life. Whoever invented shoes is a genius. For three years, my teachers didn't promote me to the next class because I was a fool. Well, I think I was a fool because I didn't understand anything in class. And I wasn't disturbed by that. I was only concerned with how I was going to survive. But one day I looked at myself and realized that I was at the bottom of my class and I was tired of struggling in life. I started working hard towards my books and my position in class was increasing. My teachers realized this boy is bright. So they promoted me, one grade, two grades, three grades. In one year, I caught up in school. I passed my exams and started high school. I shared a room with a dozen other boys at the church so we didn't have to live at home. Convoy continued to give us food and we would sit here eating side by side, studying, planning for our futures. At that time, I had a teacher, Mrs. Lewis, who became a guardian angel to me. You're very bright, Chegu. She knew I was experiencing hardship at home, and she would bring me bread and a cup of tea every morning. This is a woman who changed my perception of life. That's when I knew I wanted to become a teacher. Mrs. Lewis told me I was smart enough to go to university, and I believed her. So I applied to university. I knew I could never afford it, but that didn't matter. I finally had a vision for my future. I wanted to influence young people and educate fools like I had been. So I applied myself even more and I graduated high school near the top of my class. I know my mother would have been so proud of me. Through it all, the death of my mom, struggling in school, graduating, losing my home, selling in the streets, and everything in between. My life was full of chaos and uncertainty. But one day I got the news that changed my life. Because my grades were so good, I was given a scholarship to university. I was so happy, I was beyond words. So now I'm studying industrial chemistry. Someday I'll be a teacher. I'll change the lives of people in situations like mine. So every day I can, I come back here to my school and I tutor kids. I'm telling them that they are valuable. I'm telling them I was like them, hungry in my body and in my mind. And people like Convoy of Hope came along and fed me. And now because of them, I will never be the same. I will accomplish my vision. And nothing can stop me.